It is my pleasure to introduce you to the 33rd Annual Adult Basic Education Graduation. I would like to ask Paul Vigian, followed by Daniel Gracia, to the stage in leading us to the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the National Anthem. Good evening, could you please rise? Flag is here. And please join me in reciting the pledge. So I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, which is which it stands, one nation, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. Please enjoy yourself tonight, too. We expect a lot of hooting when the graduates come across the stage, so that's what I'm Thank you. Good evening. My name is Bernadette Driscoll, and I'm the Dean of Adult Basic Ed and Workplace Literacy. Welcome. Tonight is a nice celebration for your 33rd annual graduation. We do ask before we start our ceremony that you shut off your cell phones. At this time, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce you to some very special guests that have gathered here tonight to celebrate your accomplishments. I invite these guests to stand when I call your name. President Dr. Laura Douglas. Senator Mike Roderick, Roderick, excuse me. <laughs> Representative Alan Sylvia. <laughs> Representative Paul Smith. <laughs> Vice President of <laughs> Lifelong Learning, Paul Vigent. Linda Dufresne's Fowler Adult Basic Ed student. <laughs> Martin Aquinola. <laughs> Adelvaro. And Adriana Ferreira <laughs> Taunton. Also, I would like to introduce you to the directors of the programs that oversee these classes. First of all, we have Eileen Cruz, Fall River Adult Basic Ed. <laughs> Dale Hayden, Adelboro Adult Basic Education. 
and Carmen Botello tighten the belt bits of education. Also, I would like to introduce Greg, Dr. Greg Satharis, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Steve Kenyon, Vice President of Administration and Finance. Joyce Brennan, Vice President of College Communications. Joanne Pelletier, Vice President of Information Technology Services. Rhonda Gabovich, Dr. Rhonda Gabovich, excuse me, Vice President of Institutional Research, Planning and Assessment, and Kathy Garganta, Acting Vice President for Enrollment Services. Thank you. Tonight is a night of celebration, a night to reflect on your accomplishments. For many of you, that first step was very difficult. Look at all you've achieved since that first step. It has been said that it takes a village, that even love can be outsourced to teachers, coaches, clubs, and mentors. The truth is, it does take a village, of community of people, of working, playing, cooperating, and facing obstacles together. Dr. Douglas is a firm believer of this philosophy. When she signs her email, she signs it with the African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go with others. It is only through the support of others who have supported you on this journey that you have been able to come to this day. Many of them are here to support you and share in your success. Let's give a round of applause to all of the people that helped you to get to this day. Also, we would like to extend our thanks to each of the partners and benefactors listed on the back of your program. Without the support, these programs would not be possible. Congratulations, what an exciting time for you. Now, I'm going to ask you to do something. You had the support of others. Now it is time to pay it forward. There are many people out there that are thinking of going back to school, but they don't believe they can do it. Remember when you felt that way? Remember when you felt that way that you couldn't do it? Look where you are today. It is your responsibility to take that person under your wing and help them achieve their goals. We are put on this earth to leave it a better place. Education will help doors open and provide opportunities for all. You are now a part of our BCC family. In our family, we help each other. It may be by showing interest, a smile, a word of encouragement. Whatever it takes, be there for a student in need. I would like to remind you that today is not the end of your journey, but the beginning of greater things to come. Continue to reach for the sky. Many of our graduates have successfully gone on to college and or training. I would like to now recognize graduates past and present who have already enrolled in college or training. Please stand. Come on, there's many of you that have already enrolled in college. Congratulations, you have continued your journey of lifelong learning, and we commend you. As you can see, your classmates have enrolled in college. You can be the next one. Please let us help you in your journey to become a lifelong learner. 
There are a lot of people here today at this event that want to help you with your next steps. I told you earlier when I came in to congratulate you that I wanted you to listen very carefully to me tonight, okay? And this is why. At this time, I would like to share some very, very exciting news that was formally announced by Thomas P. Murray, the president of Bristol Community College Foundation at President Douglas's inauguration. To commemorate the inauguration, an endowed scholarship of $100,000 has been created and entitled the Presence Merit Scholarship. This is a two-year scholarship, $50,000 each year, which will be awarded to adults in our community who have completed one of the college's literacy programs, high school equivalency or English, who wish to continue their studies here at BCC. What do you think of that? This scholarship supports President Douglas's goal of creating a college-going community and culture at, in Bristol County. For anyone who would like more information about enrolling at BCC, members of BCC Office of Admissions and Step Up to College Transition Program would like me to remind you to stop by their table before you leave tonight to discuss the many opportunities available here at BCC. Although I've talked to many of you already and heard about the number of programs that you're already enrolled in and some of you already completed. Also, if there are some people in the audience that have been thinking about going back to school, you might want your high set, your high school equivalency, and you've been thinking about it, contemplating it, we're here for you, we're here to help you. So please, on the back of your program, there is information about calling us and enrolling in our program. So we are here to help. Okay, so at this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Laura Douglas, Bristol Community College's fourth president. our staff and distinguished guests. Welcome to Bristol Community College. We are honored to have you here today as we celebrate the accomplishment of our newest graduates. You made it. You really did. Whether you see yourself as Wonder Woman, Iron Man, or the Black Panther, I bet it took nothing less than heroic efforts to get you here today. You've juggled many responsibilities and gained the confidence that comes along with gaining an education. Now, you are graduating with your high school equivalent and you are ready to conquer new challenges. You may be a parent who stayed home to raise your kids, a laid off worker who's looking at a new beginning, someone who's working multiple jobs, a single parent, or a veteran transitioning from military to civilian life. Perhaps you're a little bit of all of these, but it takes a superhero to know, navigate life's obstacles, find balance, and stay focused. These are your special powers, and you will need them in the future as well. You should take a moment to give thanks to the people who supported you uh, through this challenging endeavor, your spouses, parents, grandparents, children, siblings, co-workers, employers, and friends. They are the ones who motiv motivated you to continue through the tough times, 
looked after your children, maybe helped you with some of your assignments, and maybe took over some of your regular responsibilities so that you could meet your obligations. Every superhero needs a sidekick, right? I think we should give a big round of applause to the loved ones who have enabled the success of today's graduates. Graduates, would you please stand and face your loved ones and give them a round of applause. And now I would like to introduce Senator Michael Roderick. Senator Michael Roderick was elected to the Massachusetts State Senate in 2010 and first served 
1st Bristol and Plymouth District, which includes Westport, Fall River, Freetown, Lakeville, Rochester, Somerset, and Swansea. He was appointed the Majority Whip Chairman in the Senate Committee on Ethics and Vice Chairman of the Senate Committee on Redistricting the 2016-2017 Legislative Session, and previously chaired the Joint Committee on Revenue. Prior being uh, elected to Senate, Senator Roderick served 14 years in the House of Representatives, where he chaired the Committee of Commerce and Labor, the Committee of Labor and Workforce Development, and the Committee on Consumer Protection and Professional Licensure. He also served on the Committee of the House and Ways and Means. Senator Roger graduated from my alma mater, I heard, University of Massachusetts Dartmouth with a Bachelor's of Science in Accounting. He is President and Treasurer of ABC Floor Covering Westport. He is a member of several professional and town organizations. Senator Roderick is the recipient of numerous awards, but not limited to Biotech Legislator of the Year, Massachusetts Workforce Professional Association Champion Award, Massachusetts Police Association Legislator of the Year, YMCA Legislative Champion, Associated Subcontractors Massachusetts Legislator of the Year, Massachusetts Vocational Administrative Legislator of the Year. Senator Roderick was distinguished by the President of Portugal in 2010 with the Medal of Prince Henry the Navigator, which is the highest honor bestowed upon non-citizens of Portugal. Please welcome Senator Michael Roderick. Good evening, everyone. All those awards just means I'm really old. <laughs> but let me begin by uh, welcoming all of you to today's uh, graduation and thanking Bristol Community College for giving me this opportunity to address all of you. A special thank you to Dr. Laura Douglas, President of BCC, to Paul Vigent, Vice President of Workforce uh, De Development, and an extra special thank you to the Dean of Adult Education and Workplace Literacy, Bernadette Driscoll. I understand this is her last high set graduation as she's retiring. So let's give her a great round of applause. <laughs> For all of her years of service and commitment to Bristol Community College and wish you a long and happy and healthy retirement. This evening's graduation is a testament to BCC's commitment and dedication and to all of their wonderful faculty and staff in helping adult learners advance their education. I am very pleased to have been invited to speak tonight on what I know is a very special evening for the graduates and for their proud families, friends, and teachers. After many classes, hours of studying, and projects, you are ready to take the next step and graduate. It takes immense courage to make a change, to go back to school, or to pursue a new career as an adult. Your accomplishment is no small one. It is a reflection of your commitment to personal growth and pride in obtaining your high school credentials. When I was 36 years old, I seized the opportunity to make a change. With the support of my family, friends, and neighbors, and a determination to make a difference in my community, I decided to run for the Massachusetts House of Representatives. It wasn't until, until I was first sworn into office later that, that year that I visited the Massachusetts State House for the very first time in my life. As you take those next exciting steps in your life, I hope you remember what you've learned during your time in the ABE program. I think President Theodore Roosevelt said it best, and I quote, it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man and woman who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly who errs, who comes short and again and again, 
because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But it is he who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly. For that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Life comes with challenges and obstacles. Many of you are parents, grandparents, full-time employees, caregivers, or non-native English speakers. You chose not to let this stand in your way. You overcame all obstacles life presented to you during this process, and you stand here today. It wasn't easy, and it required a lot of sacrifice. However, in the end, you'll go better as a better person and better citizens. You should be proud of yourselves and your accomplishments, as I know we all are. As you inevitably face and tackle life's hurdles, keep in mind that perseverance is a key to success. Hold true to your values and move forward with the same dedication and determination that you showed during your time here. More importantly, as you advance into the community, and as Bernadette said earlier, remember to pay it forward. Appreciate the opportunity others have given you to continue your education. And take the time to use these skills to help others move ahead. Because that's what communities do. Help one another and lift each other up. Many of you will continue your education make exciting career change, or advance in your current fields. As you do this, remember, you never stop learning. Continue to explore the world and strive to reach your full potential. Life is an adventure, and there is nothing you, can't accomplish, you cannot accomplish without hard work. Take an active role in your education, and remember to ask questions as often as you can. As you continue to learn and advance in your careers, remember what another famous historian, Winston Churchill, once said. Success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Once again, congratulations to all of you. Best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Tonight, student speak is a specialist in accomplishing what they may have thought impossible. And they have graciously agreed to share their stories with us tonight. I ask that the program directors please come up and introduce their student speaker. Eileen Cruz. Good evening. Our first speaker this evening is Linda Dufresne. Linda grew up in Westport and attended Westport High Schools until the age of 14. She then moved to Fall River and attended Durfee High School. She began to become frustrated, school be began to become frustrating for her and she quit high school after the 10th grade. Linda worked several temporary jobs, but never found great satisfaction in these jobs. This is when she decided to return to school. She enrolled in the Adult Basic Education Program at BCC in November 2014. With much persistence, Linda earned her high school equivalency credential on February 17, 2018. Linda is currently exploring different career options in hopes of enrolling in BCC soon. Please welcome Linda Dufresne. Okay, um, hello everybody. 
Um, my speech is on getting my high school credential. Um, getting my high school credential took me a long time. I left high school after the 10th grade. The first time I took this journey, I did not get my high school credential. I didn't finish. When I decided to embark on this path again, I told myself, you have to keep working towards this goal no matter what. So my new path started on November 17, 2014. As a new beginning, I signed up to take the high set classes. I knew that by doing so, I had made the commitment to go to class, be on time, and not to miss any days unless absolutely necessary. I also did whatever homework was assigned to me. I had been working very hard and felt confident was starting to take the five tests to get my high set. I started taking my test on January of 2016. By May, I had passed all four of the five tests. The last and final test, math, was the hardest for me to complete. This test frustrated me. It took me six times to pass the math test, but I never gave up. When I took the first math test, I was aggravated because I had scored so close, but not close enough to pass. After more studying, I thought I had figured out what I was doing wrong. The second time I received the same score that I had gotten on the first test. By this time, I was starting to doubt that I could pass. But my teacher, Miss Deb, convinced me to study even harder. Even though I studied harder, the third time was not the charm neither, was the fourth time. After failing for the fourth time, I started to think to myself that maybe this just wasn't meant to be. I texted my teacher, Miss Deb, right away, told her I wasn't going to try anymore. But again, she convinced me that I should keep trying, so I just put my head in my work and studied even harder. Unfortunately, my teacher, Miss Deb, had left the program, and I now had to begin working with a new teacher, Miss B. I took the math test a fifth time and did not pass, but I had done much better. I knew that I had failed, but I felt like I had finally accomplished something. It started to feel like my goal was in reach. Before I took the test, for the sixth time, Mr. B helped me a lot by letting me borrow books. He also took the time to give me some one-on-one -on -one time. After class. <clears throat> when I went to take the test for the last time, it showed me that, I, that all my perseverance and hard work had paid off. I passed. I never thought that would be possible. I actually did it. I believe that getting my high school credential is my greatest accomplishment so far. Earning my high set has opened up some great opportunities in my life. I will be enrolling in Step Up to College program this summer and hope to earn my associate's degree in human services within the next few years. My goal is to work with children in a learning or helping environment. This program will help me reach that goal. In conclusion, the most important thing to remember is to never give up and never give in. Always believe in yourself. Thank you. Okay, good evening. My name is Dale Hayden, and I'm the director of the ABE programs at the Attleboro campus. And my, my career advisor and I were trying to think of a speaker that we thought would be really good tonight. And we tend to go to some of the students who tend to be very, very outgoing. And we were trying to think of who might represent our population the best. And we thought of a gentleman named Martins Akinola because he um, is actually from another country. Many of our students in Attleboro all come to us, they're from different countries all around the world and they all speak with a little bit of an accent. And it's a lot of fun going to work because it, we kind of feel like you can go there and it's like being going around the world in one day, every day that we're there. Um, and it just makes, that's what makes the world go round. So we thought of Martins who happens to be a very shy and timid gentleman and we thought, oh boy, you know, is he going to want to get up in front of people because this isn't my favorite job either. Well, we asked him, his comment was, I am so honored that you asked me to speak. 
So Martins emigrated from his home country of Nigeria less than a year ago. And like many others, he got his high school diploma and he has a bachelor's degree in computer science. However, in many other countries, it's very hard sometimes to prove that you have them. And the process that you have to go through to show that you have those credentials can be very cumbersome. So he decided that he would start all over again and get his high set here and then go on to college and get a degree at BCC. So he uh, made a decision to enroll in the, um, in the summer and his um, degree, his next degree is going to be in fire science technology program where he can fulfill his dream of helping others. He has a fabulous attitude and he holds a passion for education. Upon graduation, he plans to be certified as an EMT or an emergency medical technician and a fire investigator. So I am honored to welcome Martin Zakanola. Hello everyone. I already had the glasses on, but um, Crystal made it very light, so I don't need the glasses. <laughs> Um, I imagine there are a lot of people thinking it's easy to walk up here. You're right. You'll be shocked at to learn that I came here with my two feet. I migrated from Nigeria, come from my home approximately eight months ago. Um, with a bachelor's degree in computer science, and I decided to enroll in the adult education program in Adam, because that's why I stayed. The intention was because um, I couldn't convert my bachelor's degree into any degree yet because they would say it's not enough. So first of all, I thought maybe I would work as a, a layman, but that would not be my standard. Apparently, I entered the BBC program last year and I'm able to report to like that this has been a life-changing, fun experience for me. We have the first group in my group of students that attended with me, and we all bought our A game. That's our attitude. You can imagine a class of about six students from different countries, and the youngest is about 35. Who's going to listen to the teacher? We all blah, 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 blah every time in class. <laughs> so we all had, she knows that. <laughs> I had the most dedicated teachers, the most supporting staff, and None of it would have mattered if uh, we didn't all fulfill our responsibilities. As long as you show up, you show up for classes, pay attention, listen to instruction, and do your own work. Yes, we all get own works, and Mrs. Doddy must make sure you bring your own work to class, or else she's going to be with you. You will be successful. I realized that no matter what you want to do in life. You will need an, you need an education to make it happen. And you may know how to put one brick on another, but still need education to show how to be amazing. With education and your passion, dreams are limitless. I found motivation, support, success with that help of my instructors, council, directors, friends, games, Lisa, Laura, a lot of them in class. And especially my family, my daughters, they're like, oh, you haven't done your work too, so I can't even shout at them. They gave me the extra confidence and, I, and push I needed to continue my studies. I am happy to report that I'm enrolled in fire science technology field in for the fall semester. As a 40-year-old African-American male going back to school, I am determined and committed to achieve this goal for my family and the nation. When I take up a challenge, I give it 100% to make sure everything is achieved. I choose a degree in fire and science technology to be able to help people upon graduation. I'll be a certified EMT, a fire investigator with this qualification I'll be satisfied first responder with intensive schemes. I want to thank the Councillor of Churches for helping my finances, my asset test fees, the old ABE team, and my classmates 
for making this Nigerian man welcome. I'm so honored to be here. I'm so proud and thank you for everybody. Thank you, I met you when you came for the first time in BCC. So I'm so proud to be here. And I'm so honored to stand here and I'm still shaking. So thank you and God bless. Congratulations. I'm Carmen Mattello, and I am the director of the Taunton Adult Basic Education Program. And it is my pleasure to introduce Adrian Ferreira. Adrian came to the United States from Brazil in 2001. In Brazil, he was a professional jiu-jitsu fighter and owned his own gym, which he bought at the young age of 16. In the United States, Adrian began working in a roofing with his, working in roofing, excuse me, with his brother-in-law at the time, and by 2003, he opened his own roofing business. Today, that business, Ferreira Company of Massachusetts, is a full-service roofing, siding, and skylighting systems installation and repair company. There are just a few examples of Adrian's incredible initiative and drive to succeed. Even with this success, Adrian understood the value of education and so came to the BCC's Totten Adult Education Program in 2017 and quickly developed the academic skills necessary to pass his high set with flying colors in March of 2018. He has been accepted into BCC's criminal justice degree program and starts classes this week. His future goal is to pursue a career in law enforcement. So please welcome a true superhero, Adrian Ferrell. Not a superhero. <laughs> Brothers and sisters graduating tonight, please stand. Now, point to the people to help you to be here tonight. Point it. Find the people to help you be here tonight and point them. Now, look at them. Give them a good look. And say thank you. Say thank you. Laura, thank you. Say thank you. to the park, the nights that we're supposed to be home with our family. We have to say no for that. They have to say no too. Don't forget the people that was in your corner, the people that understand your needs and that took care of you to make sure you were here tonight. We will not be possible to be here tonight if it was not for them. 
Now, once more, it's time to say thank you a little louder. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everyone with me? Thank you, thank you, thank you! I want to say thank you to my wife, my daughters, my son, to my teachers and advisors. It's interesting when the president say about superheroes, three people came in my mind. Angela, Chris, superhero right there, and Debbie. And I want to say a special thank you to Mary Torres, my amazing tutor. Oh, she's right there. Look, everybody look. Mary right there. Oh, and with, with the shirt of America. She is amazing. But Balboa was right. Rocky Balboa was right. It's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit. And keep moving forward. How much you can make it and keep moving forward. In the past, we tried to get a high school diploma on our own ways. We tried to hit hard life. The majority of us quit, and when we give up, we got knocked down. Many of us, many of us tonight sat down for a long time, but tonight we will send a strong message to life that we will get hit, but we will keep moving forward and we will not stop to achieve what we have ahead of us. Brothers and sisters, don't get comfy. I am starting college tomorrow. What are you going to do? Thank you. like to introduce the Diane McMullen Scholarship. Diane McMullen was a champion for the adult learner. She devoted her life to addressing the needs for all. Through her noble dedication and pledge to lifelong learning, she created a home for adult basic ed at Bristol Community College. I would like to ask her daughters, Katie and Lauren, and their children to please come up to the stage to present the scholarship in Diane's honor. Good evening, everyone. My name is Noah Brand. I am here tonight with my mom, Katie, my aunt Lauren, and my cousin Anthony. We are proud to present a scholarship in honor of my mamma Diane Muller. Diane McMullen was our mother and your Dean of Literacy Services. She was an active board member of the Massachusetts Coalition for Adult Education and a tireless advocate for adult learners. When mom passed away in 2009, we established this scholarship to honor her passion for lifelong learning. We feel privileged to be included in this special night and are always moved by the powerful student speakers that take the stage before us. Over the years, there have been many inspiring stories. 
of the unique paths that graduates, graduates take to get to this very moment. And there has been one theme that runs consistently through every journey, and that is grit. Grit is perseverance and passion for long-term goals. It is determination in the face of failure. Grit can be the difference between giving up and getting what you want. This year's scholarship recipient, Ariel Moniz, is no stranger to grit. a wife, and a community member with experience as a caregiver, manager, and student. Through her scholarship application, Ariel shared with us that her path to passing the high set was one that required dedication to a juggling act of parenting, work, and many hours of studying. Ariel's relentless focus on her goal led her to the next step in her dream of becoming a nurse. We have no doubt that Ariel will make this dream a reality. We are so proud of Ariel and every graduate here. Today is the culmination of all of your hard work. It is the product of all of the support that you received from your teachers at BCC who believed in you and the family members and friends who love you. We wish you all the best as you begin this new chapter in your journey of lifelong learning. Congratulations! And now's the moment you've been waiting for, the presentation of certificates. Of course, in my speech, I say, please try to hold your applause. But I'm retiring, so I don't care. I think you should go crazy when the people go by, OK? Absolutely crazy. They deserve it. All right. Woo. All righty. So. Will our graduates please rise? To the individuals of the class, the graduating class of 2018, we at Bristol Community College formally recognize your successful completion of all requirements as related to the high school equivalency diploma as a sign of your official passage from adult basic education learner to graduate, please transfer your tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left side now. At this time, I ask that Carol Ginsburg a high set instructor in the Fall River program to please come up to the stage to call each student to receive their certificate. Linda Dufresne.
Martins Akinola. Adriano Ferreira. Kaylee Almeida. Angela Amaral. Lisa Andre. Jade Barreto. Lily Bong. Anna Marie Bouchard. Darlene Brigham. Christy Cabaceres. Paul Celia, <laughs> Wee Chen, <laughs> Tyler Costa, <laughs> Lucia Creador. Jocelyn DeVost. <laughs> Dustin Dias. <laughs> Aaron Fredrickson. <laughs> Andrew Freitas.
Jackie Schroeder. Brendan Shanahan. Ashley Souza. Joseph D. Souza. Jose Texera. Alicia Tiberio. Gina Vaveris. Cody Weeks. Troy Wool. Sherilyn DeLucre. Congratulations. I ask that you please stand, stand and remain standing until the recessional is complete. President Douglas is available to take pictures in the designated area. I now declare the closing of the 33rd Annual Adult Basic Education graduation. Thank you and have a wonderful night.